Welcome back to another Madden NFL 25 video in which today we have a conference matchup between the AFC Baltimore Ravens and the NFC Washington Commanders. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one and see which team will come out on top. Let's get it. Lamar Jackson and the Ravens offense will get the ball to start off the game. So let's go take a look at his stats from last year as he had 307 out of 457 attempts, 36, 78 yards, 24 touchdowns to 7 interceptions. Here on 1st and 10, Lamar Jackson has a nice clean pocket as he steps back, evades the pressure, and just gets it off in time to complete the pass to number 4, Zay Flowers, who gets it up to the 38-yard line and gets the Ravens a 1st down. Here on 2nd and 3, Lamar Jackson has a read option, and he decides to roll out to his left and keep it as he takes it inside the commander's 40 yard line it'll be a first down for the ravens after that jackson run here on second and nine lamar jackson has a nice clean pocket as he works the middle of the field pass is caught and completed to number 15 for the first down nelson Aguilar, who takes it up to the commander's 24 yard line and gets the ravens into field goal range and lamar jackson does a great job to perfectly fit the ball into the hands of Aguilar as it was tightly coveraged. Here on second and three, the Ravens have a man in motion. It's a jet sweep and the pass is made to Aguilar who finds space on the left side of the field and takes it inside the five for a Ravens first and goal. Here on second and goal, Lamar Jackson rolls out to his left and gets it off to his trusty tight end Mark Andrews for the touchdowns. As he flexes on them, the Ravens take a 7-0 lead over the Commanders here at the end of the first quarter. And that was a great catch by Mark Andrews and great body control to get his way into the end zone. It is now time for Jaden Daniels to take the field for the first time today. So let's go take a look at his stats for this year's Madden. He is a 74 overall, has 90 speed and 68 awareness. Here on 1st and 10, Jaden Daniels has a nice clean pocket as he works the left side of the field. The pass is caught and made to Terry McLaurin who gets the first down at the 35 yard line. Here on 3rd and 3, Daniels is under center as he takes a step back. He throws it to the crossing receiver number 85 who takes it into Ravens territory at the 48 yard line. That is Brown with the reception. As we take a look at the replay right there, there were no defenders and he could have also hit the other crossing receiver on the left hand side for a first down as well. Here on first and 10, Jaden Daniels quickly fires it over the top of the defense and completes the pass to Terry McLaurin for the touchdown as he dances and flexes to celebrate as well with his teammates as we are all tied up at seven apiece here in the second quarter and that was a perfect pass by Daniels and great recognition to fit the ball perfectly in the hands of McLaren. Here on first and 10 Lamar Jackson has a play action pass and will scramble and keep it himself as he is going to get the first down taking it up to the 45 yard line. He is up to 30 yards rushing today. Here on third and nine Lamar Jackson snaps the ball and steps back in the pocket but will scramble out of it and rush as he fumbles the ball. The ball is recovered by the commander's defense. Number 92 comes up with it as he flexes and celebrates with his teammates in the end zone. And let's go take a look at the replay right here to see how the play unfolded. He just had a perfect hit on Lamar Jackson for him to get rid of the ball. And that is one thing that Jackson has got to be careful of. The commanders have no timeouts with 10 seconds remaining here in the first half and Daniels cannot get rid of the ball and ends up getting sacked and the commanders cannot stop the clock. So we are going to be heading into halftime tied at 7 apiece. 
both the Commanders and Ravens get a three and out to start off the second half. And here on first and 10, Daniels completes the pass to Terry McLaurin, who gets the first down at the 27-yard line. Here on first and 10, Jaden Daniels quickly works the right sideline as the pass is caught and completed to number two on the play, who takes it near midfield at the 49-yard line. Here on first and 10 on the play right after, Jaden Daniels is being chased down and is going to get sacked by number 99, Odafe Owe, which will push them back to the 38-yard line and make it second and 21. After that sack here on third and five, Jaden Daniels works it over the middle as the pass is caught and completed to McLaurin who gets it up to the Ravens 38 yard line. Here on first and 10, Jaden Daniels quickly fires it over the middle as the pass is caught and completed to Terry McLaurin who gets it into the red zone down at the 14 yard line. Here on 1st and 10 on the play right after, Jaden Daniels has a nice clean pocket as he steps up to throw. He completes the pass over the middle to number 2 into double coverage. That was tight and he dances in the end zone to celebrate as the Commanders take a 14-7 lead over the Ravens with 2.20 left here in the 4th quarter. Great catch by number 2 right on the numbers and for him to run it and take it into the end zone. Here on 1st and 10, Lamar Jackson fakes the handoff and completes the pass towards the right-hand side to his trusty tight end, Mark Andrews, who gets the Ravens into field goal range at the 36-yard line, and the Ravens will use their first time out of the half. Here on 1st and 10, on the play right after, Lamar Jackson has a nice clean pocket as he completes the pass over the middle to Mark Andrew, who breaks a tackle and takes it inside the 10, down at the 9 for the Ravens first and goal. Here on third and goal, Lamar Jackson has a nice clean pocket as he completes the pass over the middle. Pass is caught and completed to number 7 on the play. As we are all tied up at 14 apiece with just under a minute left to go here in the fourth quarter. And that was Rashad Bateman with a catch on that play. We are going to be heading into overtime as the Commanders got the ball first and went 3 and out here on 2nd and 10. Jackson's going to complete the pass to Mark Andrews on 2nd down at the Washington 28-yard line. And this will get the Ravens into field goal range and with a chance to seal the game right here. It is now 4th and 7 for the Ravens and they set up for a field goal kick. And get it right through. Justin Tucker gets it and wins the game for the Ravens as they will defeat the Commanders 17-14. to Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If you're a fan of the NFL and college football, stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long. Appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.